something double digit thousands back. What's going on everybody, this is Decker Gaming here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about how I make my thumbnails uh, for my YouTube videos. I have been getting this question asked to me a few times lately. I'm getting asked this, like, what like programs do I use, how do I edit, and like, what fonts is this, what font is that. So... I just want to make a video of me telling you, you guys what I use and what kind of like techniques do I use and how useful it is. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Now, one of the first like uh, this is one that I've been using for a while, for a few months or so. I've been using this app called Photoshop Touch on the mobile devices it's no longer on the app store so you can't really get it you have to like search on the web and download the apk or something to get the app but it is a really useful uh really useful app to use now it's not just too special it's just photoshop i just like take some photos and i uh, edit them, add my text and one of the fonts i mostly use Nowadays on my videos is American Captain. It's a nice basic font, not too crazy. Sometimes I like mix it around, try to use different fonts here and there. And I think this video I'm gonna use a different font. But it's not too crazy. It's not like some crazy Photoshop skills or nothing. It's just some basic editing, nothing like above and beyond. Now, it does take me a while to make some uh, thumbnails on Photoshop Touch. It's not, like, the easiest thing to do. Um, it does take, like, a couple, like, good minutes of my time. At least, well, 30 minutes at most to, like, finish a thumbnail. Because some thumbnails, I like to, like, take my time, make them look nice and pretty. And then, it's not, it's not like, something crazy. I try not to like make it as like I want to make it seem like I actually try. I don't want to. I don't want people clicking on videos that look like it's been done in MS Paint or something. It's just like someone drew something on a piece of paper and they use that as their thumbnail. Like there you go, guys. And if you saw those thumbnails that I used to have in my old channel, they had no effort. They were just pictures. I barely put any like effort into some of the ones that were just custom made and now I just try now I just like try to make them look decently good at least appealing to some people and sometimes if I feel like I don't want to make my own thumbnail I'll just use a template of some sort and it's a Photoshop template, and this website actually opens up Photoshop templates called photop.com. Now, I highly suggest um, people to use this website if you guys like want to open up Photoshop files and just want to edit them on there because this one's a perfect replacement for Photoshop. It does the job really well. Like, you can actually do photoshop work on this website and it opens up photoshop files like easily and it's really good and the thumbnail you're seeing like right now on this video that one's done in photo P. that's like a template i use and it's a really good way to open up like those kinds of files and if you guys like are on a budget and can get good photo editing sites like use this one because if you guys don't want to like spend money to get photoshop or like some other expensive things just go with this one because this one really does really well now now if you guys want to see me do a tutorial on how to get photoshop touch because I know it's off the app store and you can't get it. If you guys want me to show you how to get Photoshop Touch, 
uh, tell me down in the comment section if you guys want that kind of tutorial. And if you guys want a tutorial on how to use photop.com, uh, tell me down in the comments as well if you guys want to learn how to use photop. Because those two are my mains. And sometimes I use both of them to get to my final thumbnail. And the final product looks really good. I just started using photop.com. And they've been looking really well since my thumbnails. Ever since I started using this website. And they're pretty good. And I'm happy with the final result. I just want to make my subscribers feel nice. I just want them to click on something they will see and make it not look like it's total trash. But, yeah. I'm hoping to get this video up by Sunday and then tomorrow I'll do the underrated YouTuber series. Let's see if I could actually do that. But thank you all for watching this video. I covered basically everything I wanted to talk about. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you made it this far, comment. Decker is the best in the world. And yeah guys, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you have enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Comment on what we should do next. And of course, subscribe for more content. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell down below. So you guys will not miss another one of my future videos. So. Also. Um, if it seems like I haven't been uploading in a while. That, that's because I'm trying to like do some other video projects. And focus on schoolwork and such. So. Thank you all for watching this video and making it this far down into the video. I have gotten a new intro, so I hope you all have enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video, my guys. See you all later.